lovely to have you back. Thank you for having me. Okay. I've got Capri Sun. I've got a mango. <laughs> <laughs> Lil, it's totally tropical. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you always make me laugh too much. You're going to ruin my eyes. So, oh, what do you fancy then? Do you want, uh... I'm, uh, uh, do you want a water? Do you want a Capri Sun? No, I think it'll go with your hair. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lil! I'm not being horrible. I'm having some Lil. Do you want some Lil? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no, I'm good. Thank oh, OK. You. Well, it's so <laughs> so how are you doing? You're doing all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Oh. Very well. We've got to talk about your new show. It's, it's out next weekend, isn't it? Yeah, um, so weekend, it's, it's it? just a pretty... It's a very raw kind of look into my life. And um, at first it was really uncomfortable because I wasn't used to it. Yeah. And having all the cameras around and I was just moving back to New York and um, kind of getting settled into a new way of living. Yeah. Um, but it got really comfortable as it went mm. on and really dark at some points and then really happy at some points. But it was, it was nice and Oprah's been a really amazing person to me in my life, so. Because it's o Oprah's channel that it's on. It's in on her. the own network, yeah. yeah. Oprah scares me, though. She's so... She should. <laughs> she's <Yeah>. Oprah. <laughs> I know, but she's like... She's, like, mystical, <laughs> isn't she? And she's got all the art. She's like... She's really, like, meditative and peaceful, and she gives really... She brings a really good energy with her, which is something that's helped mm. me in life. She's like Yoda with shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got this air about her of, like, go, go. You know, like, wise and all that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got an exclusive clip. This is uh, Oprah giving you some tough luck. I mean, is. she don't hold back. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> it's so intense. When she started swearing, I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well I was scared. I was nearly wetting myself watching when she's going, you fucked up, you fucked up. I'm going, she's like, really, I'm like, oh. <laughs> don't be fucking up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why does everyone burst into tears around Oprah? She got, like... Lynx onions on or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she do it? You know, well, in all, in a serious matter, for me, it was when I, you know, getting receiving compliments and kind of just guidance from someone that I really admire and respect that has, you know, done a lot of great things in life. Yeah. yeah. It. I start to choke up. Whenever people are nice to me, I start crying. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's true. Um, is it true? Yeah, no, no, I'm the same. If someone says, you know, when someone ever says to you, are you all right? Then you go, no, 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 I'm all right. <laughs> it's someone people giving a shit. That's what gets you. Everyone's the it's same. It's true. There's something nice about, like, how genuine, when people are very genuine and just real and honest, it, it just hits you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but yes, that was very intense. Now, you started filming just after you left rehab last year. Yeah. I mean, that is brave. I mean, did you think maybe you should have left a bit more time before you went straight into it? I did. When I first started, I did think that for a minute because I kind of, I kind of panicked and I was like, I wait, I need to actually, I need like a few days by myself. Of course, yeah. Because um, it was overwhelming. But I didn't realise it was going to be the way it was either. I've never done something like that. What, what, the... Uh... Just the cameras around constantly. Yeah, And yeah, I was like, I'm yeah. sitting, organising clothes. It's really not that exciting. But that's why it's so good, cos it's raw, you know? Cos sometimes you watch these reality shows and someone goes, mm, I think I'm going to go hang gliding today. Da, 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 da. And you're like, really? They, that, you there were moments to... like that. They're like, do you want to go to trapeze lessons? I was like, why would I... No. <laughs> <laughs> so then I went to this other class called S Factor, which is like... It's like Pilates, yoga, and pole dancing. Oh my God, you've got to teach me that. I would love to do. Oh my God, dance. we should have done it on the show. That would have uh, been the funniest thing ever. Well, be careful what you wish for, love, because in part four that might just happen. I'll come back and teach you it. <laughs> I totally would. Rick, oh my God. It's really an exercise. It's yeah. two hours. It's like, it's good. It feels good. Now you've been to rehab before, and it hasn't worked. But you said it has this time. What was different about it? I think it's just I wasn't. I kind of was in a place where I. Sometimes, like, I had to go because of the court situations that I was dealing with. Yeah. Um, and this was, I just wanted time for me this time, and it involved a lot more meditation and, you know, spiritual work, and that's kind of what I needed. And, and it was, it wasn't, it wasn't like, here, this is what you have to do, and this, you're going to do it. It was, I found something that worked for me, and that, you know, you have to find your own in life in general, and that's, I think, that's why I enjoyed it, and I got something out of it. And how many days has it been since you've had a drink? I don't, I, I don't know. A long amount of time. I mean, there That's was a good, point on the good. show where I was in a relationship with someone and 
and I like had a drink and then I kind of freaked out and I didn't want to say it on the show because I didn't know how that would come across and I was just scared. And that's when it kind of hit home that I was doing it, you know, a docu-series and I was like, you know what? It's, I'm honest and I'm open and I've never really hit anything. Unfortunately, some things that I would have liked to have kept hidden have, you know, been out there, but it, it felt good to kind of put something out there that people can possibly relate to. Um, and that's why I was happy to have this docu-series because that's something that might help people. Yeah. Well, it's, it's good. And, and if you can't remember the last time you had to drink, well, that's, that's brilliant news, isn't it? It's good for you. Thank you. And right behind you. Thank good you. Good for you. It, it really focuses on, like, the media circus that you're in. It looks grim from the outside. What's it like being on the inside? Well, in New York, I don't get followed by paparazzi. Don't you? So it was... It, I'd get really angry when we would have to go and do something when we would leave the apartment, and it was part of the network that I recognized in the production company that have paparazzi there. So that would kind of ramp, like, amp me up and make me feel uncomfortable um, because I wasn't used to it in so long. That's why I moved back home to New York. The good thing about Instagram now is that we, you know, in the position that I'm in in certain situations, I can basically Instagram a photo of myself. So then if they're trying to get a photo, it's already there. Oh. So there's really nothing to get. Yeah. You love a selfie, don't you? I've learned to love selfies. <laughs> I take them in my bathroom mirror. Well, I've got, I've got this. Is, this is the pick of the best one. I mean, that's lovely. In my that's, bathroom mirror. Yeah. Is, that, is that where you get the best light and everything? Yes. You see, I don't think like that. You need, you maybe you need better lighting in your bathroom. <laughs> now, what's that? You don't live in an antique shop, do you? No, that was uh, in Los Angeles at a hair salon. You see, you go to nice hair salons. I go to the ones, you know, with the black and white photos and they all look like sex offenders in the window. <laughs> Now, look at that. I mean... OK, this is getting a little awkward. <laughs> you want to see the next one? Woof. No, no. No, I know it's like I've had problems with moths as well. <laughs> now, listen, now, listen, we're selfies, yeah? Can you teach me how to do a good selfie? Because I always get the angle wrong. I'm not good at doing it like that, though. I can't get... Look, you see that? You see, that's what I end up. You're, no, come on. That, that... That was for a laugh. No, that's me really normal. That was for a laugh. <laughs> Have you seen that film Up? <laughs> you know the old man in Up with the square face? <laughs> that's me really normal. Let's do one together. Hey, do, do, See, do, do you like photo box? No, this no, is scary. I don't like not this. Not my crutch, really. I'd rub my face. <laughs> Come here. What are you doing? It's so creepy. I'm lurking in the background. Well, no, you know what the new... It's not photo bombing. it's photo stalking. Have you heard that? Oh, my God. Well, I'm just in the background looking the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new thing. I'll tweet... I'll tweet, I'll tweet it to you. <laughs> now, every day, it seems there's something new in the paper about you. How much attention do you take to the... to, to do the press? Do you read the newspapers? Magazine? No. No. I don't. I really don't. People will tell me about things that get said. You can't pay attention to that stuff because people just say whatever they want to say. Yeah, yeah. And things come out and, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's strange. I'm so numb to it, I think, at this point that it doesn't even exist, really. Now, can I talk about your sex list? Now, did you know about a sex list? <laughs> I mean, listen, you should be proud. Did you see how many fit people are on that sex list. <laughs> this is your, no, your sex not list, discussing Your this. sex list was like my that's bucket list. That's not funny, that's not... <laughs> you must agree. No, 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 I'm just doing it. All right, I don't know, but I was just saying, mm-mm, girl. I'm not. <laughs> you should see my sex list. I've got it here. I've got my sex list. Let's see. Did you really do that? Yeah, this is my of sex list. Of course you did. <laughs> Can we get a shot of this? Well, it's private, but go on. <laughs> I've got a camera, I don't mind. I'm proud wait, wait, of it. Wait. I'm proud of it. Alan Titchmarsh. Sound like looking down, right? I've ever seen one in my life. Chad's <laughs> not Dave, no an Avon lady. One sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Most of blue, 59%. <laughs> the Beast of Bodmin, everyone there. The, the white helmet, motorcycle display team, all of them. 